Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to optimize your Xbox Series X or the Series S. So let's start with the settings. In the settings, the first thing that we want to make sure that we're going to optimize is the network setting. Uh, you have a way that you can change your DNS. For me, I recommend the Cloudflare DNS. Uh, honestly, you can use like the Google one or the Open DNS, but uh, the one with the better performance right now is the one from Cloudflare. So click Network Settings, go to Advanced Setting. So you have to select DNS setting. I didn't show the image because uh, all the IPs and stuff like that are there. So you need to select Manual. After that, for the primary uh, DNS, you need to write 1.1.1.1. This is uh, pretty much the primary DNS from Cloudflare. After that, you can press Start. And if they have like some kind of issue with the primary DNS, you can add the backup one, 1.0.0.1. This is pretty much their backup one. Honestly, those DNS are almost always better than the one that you're going to get from your internet provider, whatever, where you live in the world. Uh, so it will help you with the browsing web page and stuff like that. So just press start and your secondary uh, DNS will be live. After that, you press start, you need to go back one time and you will see that everything is good. So uh, you will see that your internet will reconnect with your console because when you change your DNS, you will lose like internet for like three to four seconds. After that, you press continue, go back and you're back to general. After that, we're gonna go to TV and display option. The first one is really important, it's the resolution. So click on it. You will have a lot of different uh, resolution depending on what kind of monitor that you are using or a TV. Right now I'm using a capture card lock at 1080p 60fps. So I don't have a lot of options, but normally when I play on my LG OLED TV, it's uh, it's different. So if you, are, if you want like the best image quality, go with 4K, no doubt with that. If you want like FPS, but you want like image quality, a, a nice thing that you can do with the Xbox and you can't do with the PS5 is that you can play 2K with uh, 120 FPS. So uh, if you have a monitor uh, compatible with 2K resolution, plug your Xbox in it and you will have a new resolution called 2K. If you don't have 4K and 2K, you can play 1080p. 1080p also, you can use the 120 uh, FPS. And uh, yeah, you will still have performance, but your resolution will be uh, like basic thing, the 1080p resolution. So normally, sorry about that. So normally, just under uh, the resolution section, you will have uh, another tab called refresh rate, and you will have two options, 60 or 120. So again, if you have 120, just go with 120. This is like a really nice option. Your game will feel, feel a lot smoother. Uh, normally, you can pretty much do it on any high refresh rate monitor uh, that are compatible with 2K. So if you want to do the 2K 120, pretty much the same thing with 1080p. But 4K, it's a bit different. You really need like a, a TV compatible with HDMI 2.1. Uh, you, they don't have a lot of model right now in the market. You have like the LG CX1. You have like the Sony X900. You have a couple of model like that. They're pretty expensive and uh, yeah, pretty like a lot of company like a ViewSonic, Asus and stuff like that. They uh, announced their uh, monitor for next year. And they will be compatible with HDMI 2.1. So maybe just wait. But honestly, I'm not even sure if the Xbox can't really do the 4K 120 FPS. Maybe in some indie game. But I'm not sure if they're going to do it like for a big AAA game. So it's not that bad if you don't have it. After that, in this setup, you have the 4K TV details. Uh, this is pretty much where you can see uh, what currently you can run or not. As you can see right now, because of the capture car, everything is in red. But this is a good way to like uh, debug if you have any issue. For me on my LG, I didn't understand why I didn't get my HDR. So I went there, I was like, oh shit, I, didn't, I don't have any HDR. It was because on my HDMI 4, uh, the deep black color were not activated on the TV, so on the input. So that's why uh, my Xbox didn't give me any HDR. So after that, I did that. Everything went fine. So when you did all your parameter, just go into the TV settings and you will see like, okay, everything looks fine with my Earth's HDR resolution and stuff like that. So we're good. After that, video mode. Video mode, you have a lot of different options. The uh, 50 Hz and the 24 Hz, the two first tab, it's more like 
for TVs, uh, like uh, if you're watching a Blu-ray and they are compatible with like 50 Hertz or you want to run your stuff in 24 Hertz, so you can do it over there. Low latency mode, really important. If you have that, just check it. It's really good for gaming. Variable refresh rate also for the free sync. If you want remove tiering when you're playing, this is pretty much where you can do it. Again, your uh, my TV needs to be compatible with those two options and they're pretty rare for now. Um, after that, DYCC, YCC, I will explain it like briefly. So normally your Xbox is uh, sending a signal of 444, okay? And uh, if they don't have the bandwidth, they will send 420. So it will be more compressed signal. But you have an option like a, some kind of backup plan that you can send 422. 422 is a little bit better than the 420. So just activate this one. Honestly, you will not use it a lot, but uh, I saw some times with the 4K 60 Hertz with HDR, you can have some kind of some lack of bandwidth, so you can't use it. Or even the 4K 120 Hertz with HDR, I saw a guy on the internet, he, he, he demonstrate like um, some kind of example, because the thing is, the Xbox is blocked at 40 a giga, and normally uh, the maximum uh, bandwidth or the HDMI 2.1 is 48. So this thing can help you if you don't want to send 4 to 0. After that, if you want to play 4K, again, make sure that Halo 4K is always checked. Make sure that you always want your HDR 10, really important. Uh, also, you can check the Auto HDR. This is like a, a cool option that you can like add HDR on, on old game. Sometimes it's working well, sometimes not, don't, not, but this is pretty much where you can change it. And also, you have the Dolby Vision that like no game right now are compatible with that. But it's a cool feature on Netflix. Dolby Vision looks really great. After that, one uh, more one. The, the last setting is the video fidelity and overscan. Uh, you have to go to color depth. I recommend normally you will have eight bit, ten bits, and twelve bits. I recommend the tenth bit, uh, so it's it's a good balance. The twelve, I had like some issue when I told you uh, when I was I want to run the four K, a uh, little uh, sixty hertz HDR with twelve bit. Uh, my uh, TV didn't like, I think I don't have the bandwidth for it. So that's why I, I need to go to 10. If you have like a, like a LG CX, uh, you can definitely test it. But again, I saw a guy on the internet had like some issue with it. Uh, I think he had like an issue with the bandwidth, but probably maybe Xbox will patch it because it's weird that the LG CX can't really do the uh, 4K 120 FPS, I think HDR 12 bit. So uh, yeah, but uh, I think the 10 bit, it's a good... Um, it's a good balance for your color depth. So that's about it. I uh, don't have other setting that you really uh, can change. Like after that, it's more like in game. If you want like to optimize stuff, you they they probably gonna add like if you want to add or remove RTX and stuff like that in some game. If you want like more FPS, so this is pretty much it for the uh, setting on the Xbox. If you have any question, just come in in the YouTube section, post me anything like uh, uh, TV setting, Xbox setting, in-game setting. I will try to help you the best that I can. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 